up? My name is Marina. So today we're doing something different. I'm doing my makeup for you guys. Now, I'm not a beauty channel. <laughs> Do I need to introduce myself that way? <laughs> like, this is not a beauty show for some reason. I have had people ask me like crazy. I cannot tell you the amount of people who have asked me to do a get ready with me makeup tutorial. I don't know if it's so you guys can like make fun of me behind my back or what, but I'm here for it, whatever. Um, so I figured while I do this, this is the perfect opportunity. Did I introduce myself? Crap, dang it, did I forget to do that again? All right, hey, what's up? My name's Marina. I do a lot of nonsense on my channel. I have a lot of fun on my channel. We love everybody on this channel. Even the turds, if you're a turd and you comment down below, best believe we are going to love on you because that's just, that's just what we do over here. Right, guys? My regulars, am I right? So today we're going to do that, and then I'm probably going to just bring y'all along with me until about 5 o'clock because at 5 o'clock I've got to upload this because <laughs> it's the same. I'm doing the same day film, edit, and upload thing that I'm known to do. <laughs> very often we'll probably tackle some mess later we'll probably i don't know it depends on how long this goes i talk a lot okay so i've had people specifically ask for what items i use what for so i'm not going to do contacts today because i'm i don't do contacts when i'm cleaning and stuff so we're, it's just going to be glasses but i'll be sure well i'll try to remember to tell y'all so literally i used to be the biggest sephora and ulta junkie ever um and we'll get into that backstory here in a little bit because a bunch of people are asking me a bunch of people follow me on instagram if you don't you really hurt my feelings it's fearfully created too and they see a lot of my old pictures and what i used to look like and they have seen my stories of me touch on it a little bit here and go as to why i don't do that anymore um and so i'll get into that we'll get into everything you'll probably know more than what you want to know about me by the end of this video but that's okay well, if I done started out this video and realized... Oh, there it is. I always use this matte... Banks, get out of your mouth. I always use this matte elf primer. I can't see y'all right now, so... It's okay, y'all. Can't see me right now either. Not... <laughs> I mean, you can, but, like, you can't. Like, you know, you'll see... It's like kind of like time travel. Oh, we're going. We're putting on the tinfoil hat already. It's kind of like time travel because you will see me, but you're not seeing me right now. So what I do is I prime my face. So, juicy questions. I can't see what I look like. Oh, okay, question number one. This isn't the question. I'm asking myself this question. Are you blind in your right eye? Yet or left eye? Shoot, I forgot which eye it was. <laughs> I'm blind in my left eye. I almost died when I was a kid. I was about 11. I have something called pseudotumor cerebra. And it's like a tumor on your brain. Well, when I was 11, people didn't, it wasn't a big thing back then. And so I almost died with it. I ended up having to have like several spinal taps. And God finally healed me. He healed me because one day it was just, I woke up and I didn't have it anymore. It was God. The doctors didn't do nothing because every attempt the doctor made, it bombed i am still left with my blind left eye i like to think it adds character to me i don't know y'all let me know in the comments does my blind eye add character to me i don't hate it it's part of who i am it does get lazy sometimes and it travels but i'd like to travel sometimes i just can't go nowhere i'm broke it gets to go everywhere for free all right <laughs> All right, so then I'm taking this uh, Fit Me, and I use matte because I'm already a really oily person. Um, so you just dot it like you have the plague all over it. Like, it's going to look like you have leprosy at first, but just trust the process. And y'all ask me if I can't see how uh, can I do my makeup. Well, the answer to that is not very well, so I don't even know why y'all are wanting this. I swear y'all are just doing it to make fun of me. But... Also, um, I got this big, gigantic, enormous mirror set up in front of me so that I can see what's going on. Normally, I, whenever I do my makeup, I did this in my stories the other day um, on Instagram. Shameful plug right here again. <laughs> I use this because I used to be very tan and I have not bought makeup in a long 
long time. This is old. Probably expired, but that's okay, right? Mm, yeah, we're no stranger to expired stuff. We're poor, poor. We don't buy stuff as soon as they go expired. That's just nonsense. Because I usually use that. I ain't doing that today, honestly, because my Instagram fiasco was such a mess. So I'm just going to paint my neck with this, and y'all are going to just ignore my hands being so white. That's why I got long sleeves on. I didn't want y'all to see my white arms. Okay, you got to really hurry up and do this so it don't dry. I don't know if I'm going to have time to do anything after this, like clean a recipe or anything. Y'all won't care, right? If I just get on here and do my makeup on a cooking channel. I ain't really a cooking channel. I don't have a niche. You're going to take a beauty blender and you're going to spray it with... You're going to spray it with some NYX Set and Spray. I used to walk this over to the uh, faucet, but I don't do that no more. That's extra. You just dab this in like you dot it. Is this a tutorial? Am I making this a tutorial? No. All right, so why do I wear skirts? A lot of people have seen my old videos and know they ask me if I wear skirts all the time. The answer to that is no. I wear pajamas all the time. <laughs> but the reason I wear skirts a lot is because that's what I have. Um, I was raised Pentecostal. Um, and they believe that... Well, I shouldn't say they believe, no. That's not how every Pentecostal believes. But a lot of Pentecostal people believe that you have to wear skirts and stuff. No, that is not me. I do not believe that God requires you to wear a skirt to get into heaven. That is absurd, in my opinion. <clears throat> um, but I had an issue that I will talk about here in just a second. Um, and I, because of that, I only have skirts in my closet. Which is fine by me because they hide my chubby thighs and I kind of like that. But honestly, I'm just cool with wearing my pajamas everywhere if we're being real. I mean, I don't care. I don't care. I'm, I'm not one of those moms who, like, are afraid. I'm probably one of those trashy-looking moms you see at Walmart. Those trashy-looking. People call them trashy. Um, I don't call them trashy. I don't call anybody trashy. But um, I'm probably one of them moms <clears throat> that wear their Tweety pajamas to the grocery store. And, you know, I'm okay with that. That's who I am. Uh, when you're a big girl, you either don't have a lot to wear that fits you and looks right on you, or you have a lot and it's uncomfortable because it doesn't fit right on you. So I choose to be comfortable in my Tweety pajamas. Oh, squirrel, um, I also bought a new thing of Buffalo plaid pajamas. You know how I call those my filming, um, pants? I got a pair of white and black ones. I feel like this is coming off very orange. This looks bad, I promise. Just trust the process. So you're gonna dab that first coat in. Did I do one or two coats? Okay, well we're usually just gonna do a lot of coats because this stuff is Walmart and it doesn't cover as well as like um, Urban Decay. I used to wear Urban Decay. If y'all think I'm joking, I'm gonna insert a picture right here. I ain't joking. And so what happened and why did you let yourself go? Well, I don't like to see it as I let myself go. I like to see it as I found myself. Let's do the short version of a long story. Okay, so Marina, baby Marina was made fun of a lot. Baby Marina was tormented in school for being fat. Um, and baby Marina had no friends. Uh, <clears throat> so baby Marina went through most of her high school hating herself and self-harming. Um, trigger warning there I can't even begin if I did a trigger warning it would look like the screen roll of Star Wars right here like everything in the book just don't um, uh, if you if you're easily triggered or you have anxiety or you just or you just don't want a um, sad story right now then I'm gonna leave a timestamp right here of when I quit talking about this stuff and you can just fast forward that or leave and come back later it don't matter I love you either way but I was made fun of a lot tormented in school and it led me to self-harm a lot well I was also abused in several ways um, sexually emotionally physically um, as a child and all that added with the self-image issues and being tormented at school, it added up to be a very toxic version of myself. Um, I met my husband when I was 17. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He saved me. Um, if it had not been for him, I would have 
there would have been no fearfully created channel. I would have been dead. I promise you, Jesus used him to save me <coughs> in the beginning. So after I met Shane, we got married and all this self-harm stuff got to me. And I did some drastic things to lose weight. And I lost weight. I lost 150 pounds. Um, but I was eating one chicken patty from McDonald's a week. I was working 16 hours, seven days a week in a healthcare facility. And um, I was taking Fentramine and a bunch of other medication. Um, and all that together, drinking nothing but water. And sometimes, I, you guys know, like now I forget to drink. I forgot to drink back then and there would be literally four to five days where I would not drink water. Um, I hated myself. I hated the way I looked. I hated, because I, I had never been told, Marina, you're beautiful the way you are, except by Shane. And I thought he was like, that's why he thought that. I really did. I thought something was wrong with him that he would ever think that because no one else had ever thought that. So my whole life I hadn't been told that, so I didn't know how to tell myself that. All I knew how to tell myself were the things that were told to me on the daily. Marina, you're fat. Marina, you're ugly. Let's do one more coat for good measures. <laughs> anyway, so I lost a lot of weight, and I became, I, I will always say this to the day I die, losing that weight was the worst thing that has ever happened to me. <clears throat> I spiraled, I was already not healthy mentally, but I spiraled into this toxic tornado of, now I was finally the pretty girl in the room, now I was finally the one everyone wanted to be friends with, not because I had a good personality, but because I was pretty. Um, now I'm the one that turns heads. Now I'm the one and it got to me and I was a terrible, I cannot even tell you, a terrible person. And so I did things I'm not proud of and I had a, gosh, my husband, <laughs> y'all Shane, y'all wonder how me and Shane have such a good relationship now and it's because we have been through, literally I do not cuss, but we have been through hell, the literal place hell. Um, he, he prayed for me every night. I would go out, I would act ridiculous. I was not a good mother, not a good wife. And he would stay home and he would pray for me. And, he, and I would come home and he would say, you're not the best version of who you can be. And I'm praying that you're going to be that version one day. Thank you, Jesus. God answered his prayers because he will tell you today. I'm um, exactly, I may not look like I did back then. I may not look like I have all my stuff together. I may be a little crazy. <laughs> I may have them crazy eyes, but he will tell you I'm exactly who he knew I could be and who he wanted me to be. So anyways, I was a terrible human and that led to a spiral in, um, I dyed my hair blue, which I've had my hair. I dye my hair all the time. I haven't dyed it in years um, since all this happened. But I have blue hair, pink hair, purple hair, um, but at this point, I was a little blue-haired girl. I'll add a picture right here. I was a blue-haired girl, and I had my little nose ring. I can talk about this. Uh, I can talk about this in front of my kids because I've talked with them about it. My phone cut off, <clears throat> but I'm using this Dollar Tree palette right here, and I'm using this color over here. My brows, I just let them go wild. Um, I used to shave them and do the whole feeling thing, but I let them do what they want to now and they don't fight me as much about it. <laughs> I was a very horrible person and um, I had blue hair. I had every color of hair in the book. Um, I loved doing my hair. I did my own hair. I had blue hair. Those look about even. Ah, this one could use a little work. But late 2017, early 2018, I attempted suicide. I locked myself in my room. I wrote, let, I waited till my husband was about home. I locked myself in my room. I wrote letters to my children. Um, and I won't go into any other details because if I had heard this when I was in that mindset, you never know what kind of mindset someone's in. And if I had heard that while I'm, I was in the mindset I was in then, um, it could have possibly sent me over the edge. So I'll save you guys the details and um, just say that Shane found me. And when I came to myself, <clears throat> I heard the voice of God and people laugh at me and I still tell it and I'll tell it till the day I die. 
laugh at me or not, I heard the voice of God and he said, Marina, Marina, why do you ignore my call? And I got up and there was so much dust on my Bible, my handprint, you can see my handprint on it. And I turned right to the page where he was talking to Paul whenever Paul was Saul and he was persecuting the Christians and killing the Christians. And he said, Saul, Saul, why dost thou persecute me? And let me tell you something. When you hear the voice of God call your name, it'll change you forever. And this is why, this is why I'm so against religion. This is why I'm so against the rules and regulations the church has set up in order for you to be loved by God. Because I'm going to stop this little session right now to look at you right in the eye. I think I'm looking at you in the eye. I don't know. Am I? Yeah. I think I'm looking at my lens. To tell you that God loves you right where you are at. And you don't have to meet a certain criteria to be loved by God. He created you with love. He loved you the minute he formed you. And nothing you could do, nowhere you could go, no way you could act could make him love you any less. Because he came to me that day. He said, Marina, Marina, why do you ignore my call? I answered the call for the first time as an adult. I answered that call. And he asked me for something. He asked me to change something. And it wasn't my blue hair. It wasn't my nose ring. He didn't tell me to change my wardrobe. He asked me to change my heart. And I let him change it that day. And I ain't never been the same. I ain't never been the same. Might be a little bit more wacky here. Might be a little bit more, you know. Might have a little bit more character. Definitely got a lot more joy. Definitely got a lot more happiness. But I let him change it that day. And I ain't ever, I ain't never been the same. Oh, yeah, we were contouring, wasn't we? Okay, so this is what we do when we contour. How did I go from contouring to doing my eyebrows? I didn't finish doing my contour. All right, so I got this, like, my husband calls it a button nose, but I don't really think it's a button nose. But what I do is I contour my cheeks. I already did that, didn't I? I did. I just not remembered. It's okay. We need a little more structure in our lives. <laughs> get it did you get that fun um and then i go oh the, the lazy eye is it gonna do it it's doing it <laughs> oh man okay you're just gonna go over the bridge like not the bridge don't go over the bridge with contour um go down the the sides and then i do like a little I told y'all that happened. I wanted it to happen. Okay. And then you're gonna just like try to get it up in your hairline so your scalp doesn't look extra white, but I'm not good at that, honestly. It's just gonna look white. And I'm okay with that. And what I do is I have kind of weird lips anyway. I just put a little to make it the bottom one like pucker a little bit. I probably look crazy to y'all. <laughs> so is that. I didn't have to wax my upper lip because I did that the other day. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go down the bridge of my nose. We about to look like a warrior. Another question: People always want to know what ethnicity my husband is. So you put it like that. You put it like that, and you kind of just, you know. He is Native American. specifically Blackfoot Indian. And when I do my makeup like this, I always tell him I'm gonna be an Apache. My kids look like Indians. Well, a majority of my kids. Colton looks more like me, but bless his heart. We got it right here, we got it right there. Got it, you see You see where I got it? Take a screenshot and then let somebody find this on your phone and be like, what the crap are you screenshotting? And then you just dab it. I really should have done this after I contoured, but I forgot. I do a lot of forgetting and correcting my mistakes um, with makeup. And, you know, they're happy little accents, not mistakes. We never make mistakes. Always happy little accents. So, Marina, what did you do for a living? Well, I worked in healthcare for a majority of my adulthood of course i didn't work as a child i pursued a career in nursing 
and it was not what I was called to do. You have to be called for that. I was not called for that. After my suicide attempt, after I met Jesus, I am, uh, <laughs> this is one of shockings. This one's probably gonna shock you, but not for like weird reasons, just because I haven't talked about it at all on my channel. And I'll tell y'all why. So I'm a licensed minister. <laughs> I really am. Um, I work a lot in um, at home missions and stuff. Um, we have a big city near us. I like to go feed the homeless. I like to do all that stuff. Um, I like to go, you know, help people who need help you know, and not flaunt it on social media. So I'll never show pictures of me feeding the homeless and stuff. I have pictures, um, but they're not for me to flaunt. They're for me to reflect on. And if I ever lose my path to regain it by looking and seeing like who God has used me to help. I like to do stuff like that. Uh, I'm not, I, I am an evangelist. I'm not, oh, this looks so bad. <laughs> I have a higher than heaven shirt on. My husband, okay, backstory if you're not on my Instagram, I just told y'all I'm an evangelist and I have a higher than heaven shirt on. <laughs> oh, God. Can I scrap this? So, my husband bought me Christmas presents and he got me this shirt. He didn't know it had higher than heaven written on it. Um, and I don't think when he saw it, he realized it was a stoner shirt. Um, so, I just like to say, you know, I'm seated in heavenly places. I am higher than heaven, you know. <laughs> so, um, just not by, uh, you know, I don't do drugs. I've never done drugs. Um, but I, that's because I've never even thought about doing drugs or drinking alcohol. Because alcoholism and drug addiction runs in my dad's side of the family. And I don't even take that chance. Am I still recording? Yeah. But I am an evangelist. I do preach, but my preach isn't the um, kind of preach that's behind a pulpit and you're like, bam, bam, bam. My preach is going out to the highways and byways and being who Jesus called me to be. Telling the people, hey, he loves you. Telling the people, hey, God can save you from this. Telling the people he can release you from depression, release you from anxiety, release you from everything that haunts you. Like, he can do that. He did it for me. He did do it for me. I ain't been depressed not once. I mean, it was like, he said he'd take it away, and bam, it was gone. And I know that's not how it happens with everybody. Some people, it's a process. Some people don't want to let it go. They've had it for so long, it's their security blanket. Um, and I understand that. I understand that 1,000%. But my preaching is not like behind a pulpit, like quoting scriptures. I do know scripture very well. And that, y'all know, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm, quote, I'm quoting scriptures all the time. A lot of my friends on there message me. They're like, Marina, I feel like I just got a sermon. And I'm like, if you only knew. <laughs> if you only knew. Um, but I am licensed in that. Um, I try to just be normal. Because I feel like this whole... So I'm probably not going to do anything other than this. Because I have to edit Cameron's naked... Cameron's my autistic son. He likes to run around naked. I have to edit him out of the video. So I'm using this liquid eyeliner. This is my favorite liquid eyeliner ever. I am not one of those preachers, but I don't even call myself a preacher. I don't, um, I don't say, hey, oh, hey, I'm a preacher because I don't get behind a pulpit and I call myself a Jesus follower because that's what I do. I follow Jesus. I feel like being, I feel like calling myself a preacher gives me this sense of entitlement that is not mine to have. Um, anything I have to say is not from me. Okay, so a lot of y'all want to know how I do my eyeliner. It's weird, and a bunch of people make fun of it, but it's okay. Like, if you like it, then I'll show you how to do it. So, you don't start here in the corner, because I have, like, really narrow cat eyes once I put um, the eyeliner on. You start at, like, the beginning of the lash line, and you make a really thick line. And for me, it just, like, opens up my eye. Sometimes I'll go in the corner if I want, if I want like, a sophisticated look and a not-so-messed-up look. This eye's hard to do because I can't see out of it, which is closed anyway. So why is it hard to do if it's closed anyway? So this one always ends up thicker than this one, so I usually do this one first, do this one, and then go back and do that and fix that one. Does that make sense? And see how I did that? I try not to do a harsh line over it. Like, I kind of, like, dip it. And go, does that make sense? I kind of like transition it. Oh, look, we got a ring. That happens a lot, too. It's okay. It'll be covered by stuff. If anything, it helps me out because I have to put dark on it anyway. 
I was hesitant to do a makeup tutorial because my makeup never comes out the same way twice. You know? So then I take this and I get my bottom lash line because the liquid doesn't do good on the lash line. Oh, you kind of got to make a chunk in it with your fingernail so that you can get because it dries. Alright. Am I right? Nope. Not right. Okay, and I have always done this since high school. I come really far down to open up my eyes. And I know that there's other way to do it. Other, and I know that there's other ways to do it. Trust me, I used to be like this beauty guru. But this is the way that I like to do it. There's what I was talking about. See how like my whole eye turns black? It's probably dangerous, but it ain't ever like... Well, I can't tell if it's hurt that eye or not because it's my left eye. So I don't know if it made me go blind in it or not because I was already blind. Oh, but it makes your eye look cool. Look. Oh, I look kind of like. Okay, can you not do that? Oh, no, that's bad. It don't hurt, though. Okay. Let me see here. I thought it would look a lot better when I put my glasses on. You gotta trust the process. We're still trusting the process. Then I'm gonna take this dark brown color, the same brown color I used. No, I'm not. I'm going to take my finger and I'm gonna dip it in this. I meant to do this before I did my eyeshadow. Daggone, see what I mean? We're always forgetting something. And I just put a little bit of the cream color, like, there. Then I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna go in the crease. I'm just gonna go in the crease. And I just, I don't have any special blending brush or nothing like that. I just, okay. And then you want to take that cream color on your finger again and put it under the arch in your eyebrow to make it appear more arched. I like to take the white and go in the corner of my eye because it makes it appear bigger. I gotta take this Lime Life stuff. Now I gotta take this Lime Life stuff. My cousin sells it, but this stuff has like microfibers in it, so you gotta like put it in your bra and warm it up real quick. I hope I'm gonna get this up on time neither. I hope I get this up on time. Yesterday I didn't get my video up on time. I was 15 minutes late, but I already had it scheduled and everything. I just had it scheduled for the wrong day. All right, I think it's done. Marina, why did you start a YouTube channel? Well, I wanted friends and I was praying about how I could get friends. And I was praying one day and I heard God say, you might never heard God's voice, but I promise if you listen for him, you'll hear him. Um, a lot of times God sounds like you're conscious. But I heard God say, start a YouTube channel. And I said, I am not doing that. I literally said that to God. <laughs> to the creator of the universe, I said, I'm not doing that. And he said, if you'll do it, he said, I'll anoint it, and people will flock to you, and it will grow. And I told my husband, and I was playing it off like I did. I was like, I don't know if this was God or not. If, it, if I know anything, it's God's voice. By, the, by now, trust you me, by now, I know God's voice. I said, I don't know if it's God's voice. He said, there's only one way to find out. Start a channel. And if it was God, 
he'll do what he said he would. Because God is not a man that he can lie. So I did. I don't know what that is. I started it. And it blew up. It blew up. I would sit there and I would watch the numbers just go up and go up and go up and go up. And I was like, everybody asked me, what's your secret, Marina? How are you doing it? I was like, I can't take the credit for nothing. It's not me. It's not me. And God did it. God did it in such a way that I would have to say it's not me. I can't take the credit for it. Um, all credit goes to God for that. What I got out of it was genuine friends that absolutely love me and I love them the same. I have friends in Texas. I have friends in Alaska, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, New York, California, Nebraska, Mississippi, Ohio, I have legitimate, genuine friends all over the world, not just in the United States. That's what I got out of it. I have really bad acne. Y'all see that? It, it goes all the way down through there. I think it's Lime Life too. yeah. And it is in Ruby Chocolate. This is awkward. I don't like it. Alright, now granted I ain't washed my hair in like, I ain't gonna tell y'all how long. <laughs> okay, I ain't washed my hair in like a week. I showered, I just haven't washed my hair. So I'm gonna go edit this, get it up, get it posted, so you guys will have it tonight. Thanks for hanging out with me as always, and I love yous, and I hope y'all have a blessed morning, even I'm trying to talk over my kids. I hope y'all have a blessed morning, any night, whatever it is, wherever you are at. And don't forget, Jesus loves you. I ain't one to throw nothing in nobody's face. I ain't one to push nothing on you. But I want you to know this. Jesus loves you. It's makeup. It's not poop. I feel like that's in my videos all the time. Like, do you see something on my hand? I'm like, it's not poop. I don't know why I think that you guys think I just dig in poop. But it's makeup. But yeah, Jesus loves you. I love you too. And I will see y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow is a what I got my kids for Christmas video.